the auto-tune one, like I said, because I didn't have to help him. He just, he was working every, it was happening. And I don't know if you caught it, it was very subtle. After I said, that's evil. Remember when I said that's evil, referring to a note goes in that's bad and that comes out as good from a microphone? And he said, well, that's not evil. My wife puts on makeup, okay, <laughs> good morning. And then there's a pause. And then he leans over and says, is that okay, honey, that I said that? <laughs> He's co-owner of that business with his wife, and his wife was just off camera and, and, and was listening. So, I don't know if there's hell to pay later that night or that situation. But it's subtle, but he leans over, is that okay, honey? So, uh, so that, was, that was really fun. I enjoyed donning astronaut gloves and astronaut um, uh, suit and attempting to perform some of the repairs that the Hubble repair astronauts were going to do on orbit. And I did that at a mock-up of the Hubble telescope. And that was fun to just see the tools that they would be using and to attempt that repair, which by the way was successful uh, by all measures. Hubble has a new, literal new lease on life. it will go for another five, possibly 10 years. There's one we just did recently about taste. That was kind of fun. I think it just aired on uh, Tuesday night. Did, did anybody see it Tuesday night? That had my mother in it. Did you see my mother? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she was commenting on whether I was a picky eater as a child. And just briefly, just so you know, vegetables are bitter. And the question is, how come kids don't like vegetables but adults do? And the answer is, most plant matter that would kill you in the wild has a bitter taste. And so if you are a child and happen to like bitter tastes, you're dead, okay? <laughs> so, so uh, or more specifically, you don't live long enough to have other children who like bitter tastes. So, and, and children are much more susceptible to the same quantity of toxins that, than what an adult would be. And so, it, so it's not unrealistic to recognize that children have a higher sensitivity to bitter taste because they have a higher susceptibility to the death of bitter plants. And so what it means is if any kids in the room who don't eat their broccoli, you have genetic arguments to lodge with your parents. So I enjoyed that one because I got to taste different foods, really nasty, bitty, bitter foods. I got to taste the most bitter liquid substance in existence. It's called Bitrex. And uh, just so you understand, if you put one drop on your finger and touch it to your tongue, which I did, it was by far the most bitter sensation I had ever experienced, and it stayed in my mouth for like eight hours. <laughs> and and I, was, I was kind of macho about it. I said, well, it tastes like concentrated Guinness stout, <laughs> in a hot day with uh, you can I could construct the extremity of that flavor I could do that they gave others because now the production staff was curious like the lighting guy and you know I want to taste it they tasted they, one of them had to run and throw up okay <laughs> so it was severe severe I also got to taste a tea from Brazil that knocks out all of your sensation of sweetness for about 30 minutes and what's cool about that is, you, you drink this tea, you swish it in your mouth, you cannot, it, so it binds to the sweet sensors of your tongue, preventing other sweet sensations from being received. So it basically blocks, it's a chemical blocker. And so, then they, they then gave me granulated sugar. And it was as though someone had put sand in my mouth. <laughs> because that's the texture of sugar. But I couldn't taste the sweetness, so all I notice is that it's sandy. So this is a sandy substance that's dissolving in my mouth. And so, so I got to be a subject of these experiments as well as one who reports on them. And so those, for me, are the most fun among them. So let me just mention that the Hubble story will be on in our last program. We actually have been following the training of the astronauts that repaired the Hubble. And so it will be, we've updated last year's story, and that'll be on I think the last week of August, but you'll, you'll have to check your local listings. 
and it will also be on Nova for full hour with all the results at uh, in October.